Hello and welcome back to the Diffs of Silver Tail. We're back with Legend of Keepers. I love this game. Uh, I'm hoping that with time, my coherency when I'm recording these things will improve, which is something that I apologize for. I'm well aware that I don't have quite the coherency of voice that I wish to possess. In short. Uh, I ramble, and I forget what I was saying. Uh, and all manner of things. I'm already forgetting what I was saying uh, right now. More power, more life. Mm, that's interesting. Considering that we're talking with a, uh, a boss who just throws spells. Ooh, there's an interesting thought. Does the power of the boss influence the spells that they're casting against the heroes in the middle of the dungeon? Thematically, it should. But that's thematically. I don't know whether it actually does that. Seminar. Can I send someone on a seminar? Ooh, we know the seminar. Ooh, tempting. I'd like that, actually. Motivation is nice, but there you go. Uh, make them enraged and powerful for a while. That's good. Especially since we're going aggressive. How long does this last again? 29 weeks. Eh, that's not too bad. I do love this game. I mean, I really do. It's... I, th I was trying to convey that in the last... In the last episode, I remember. But I sort of lost any sense of what I was trying to say. Um... Let's see, first at the front, and uh, nice to the back. That'll just what I do. You have nature at the front, which is not good for us. No, he'll kill you outright. Can't do that. Uh, put you at the back. I need someone who can resist nature at the front. And ice. Let me see, you do that much damage, you have that much health. If you resist 30% of that damage, you might live? Hopefully? I feel like I want to... Do I want to put you here? Pros and cons. If I put you here, this guy has negative armor, so their abilities can't bounce. So I'll put you here. Shell 2. No, but they don't have frostbite. You gain more resistances if they're burned, right? Per hero affected by burn. And assuming you get a turn, or whether well, you get... You, that should have, like, 30% extra resistances, right? Your resistances are actually pretty bad, naturally. But it'll raise you up to okay levels of resistance. Yeah, I was trying to convey that I love this game. But I was not doing it in a way that was at all uh, coherent. Which was unfortunate. Um, yeah, but what I like about this game is... Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, hold on. So I was just trying to do the math. You know, there's a lot of different elements to it, but each of them is uh, is is predictable and understandable. The strategy comes from setting things up in a way that kind of works, at least. I mean, you, someone could look at all of the maths and know exactly what's going to happen. It's like completely predictable, within reason, I suppose. You can't predict when they're going to use their skills, although you can probably guess a little bit. This is not going well. <laughs> I already lost him. Um, I really thought he might live, but then I guess I didn't account for the damage he takes. Uh, I imagine he could actually he could get up to like plus 60. I mean, it didn't save him, did it? That's just it. He's got a lot of ways of defending himself, which interests me. But, um... Oh, right. He only applies burn one, of course. The moment they have had their attack, his resistance will be going down. That could have gone better. I, I like that there are so many elements. They're mostly pretty predictable, uh, bar a couple of things that are random. And, uh, you know, you just, you just, uh, it, it feels very fair, I guess is where I'm overall going with it. I love that it feels very, 
it feels like, yeah, it's a puzzle, it's a challenge, it's one that you can mostly predict. Uh, and, you know, uh, understand what's going to happen, what's not going to happen. Something like that. Realize I'm not exactly conveying myself particularly coherently again. I'm, I'm having a hard time explaining why I like this game, I guess. But I do like this game. Because it makes me have to think in a way that... You know, I know that if I set things up in a certain way, it's going to go a certain way because... Exactly because I planned it that way. I can see the challenge, and I can try and put down a solution to try and deal with it. Which I like, personally. That's, that's the sort of challenge that I enjoy, or at least one of these sorts of challenges that I enjoy. It's interesting it does equal damage and morale. This guy's morale is, like, super low, actually. We might be able to scare him off, just because he's doing morale and tiredness. This guy is mostly doing morale-based damage. We might actually have our first scare off. That would be kind of fun. Uh, probably not, though, because nothing else is going to hit his morale. Hmm. I feel like that could have gone better. All three of them are still alive, and they've reached me. But to be fair, all of them are only doing 30% of their damage. So that's pretty fun. Increase by to removes all penalties. I don't want to remove the tiredness at all. Um, so I guess I'm just going to take three turns to take them apart one by one. Her resistances. Bad. Armor, very bad. Fire, kind of bad. I guess that makes sense. Wow, it's just like. She destroys whatever she hits. I'm gonna put armor in, because I want to get rid of that massive armor deficit a bit. That's a lot of armor deficit. Speaking of things that are bad, my entire back line needs a rest. That's not good. I think I'm going to put you two back here. Probably. No, no. You're damage over time kind of guys. So I think I'll move these ones in the back line. Maybe? They've got a bit, more, a bit more survivability. I'll put you in the front in case we need some muscle. I still feel like I need more monsters, actually. don't feel like I've got enough money for this. Ah, oh, but there's some money. Ooh, the siege. I like the sieges. Uh, I have two poisonous plants? Really? Um, really? No, I have one poisonous plant. So why is it asking for two of them? Mm, you kind of asked for traps that I want to give up. But that's a lot of money. It's only for eight weeks. I can do eight. I can lose that trap for eight weeks. Oh, blood fay. I feel like that's probably meant to be. Blood phase, like buffet? I'm trying to figure out what exactly that means. So, I can level you up twice for 300. Yeah, sure. I'm curious what he does when leveled up. Stronger heroes are coming from far away. Yes, yes, thank you. I've heard. Oh, a champion. Am I ready for a champion? I don't think I'm ready for a champion. Oh, right, the gnoll's getting trained, so I can't use him. Am I willing to try a champion? This could be an absolute terrible idea, but... 
Oh, it's a terrible idea, but I'm gonna go for the champion. Risk and reward. It was nice playing as the enchantress. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, who is it? Oh dear, it's Mr. Firebrand. That's not a good match for my enchantress. Oh dear. That's not a very nice combination for me. Ice and air there. Oh dear. Um. Well, let me see. I guess I'll hit them up with Poison Cloud because. Hmm. Um. No. No. I think this guy might use his ability in the first round. Which is why I'm just going to weaken them up first. Uh, let me see. Ice at the front. Air at the front. Fire at the back. These ones can resist fire a bit, so I'll put them right at the back. You're going to have to stand at the front, unfortunately. But you'll get at least one attack. This is most definitely a bad idea. Anyway, then I can hit them up with more poison. Hit them with these effects. Oh, I'm curious what the Aztec thing can do. I wish I knew already, but I don't. Let's see, fire has got to go there. Now, I know... Mm, I want you to live, and I don't care if you live, so that's how I'm arranging you. <laughs> oh dear, he would have to be at the back. If he gets a chance to throw his fire at my boss, then this is going to go badly. Oh, and your armor isn't positive either, so this isn't good for, for them either. Ah, uh, oh dear. I'm already regretting my decision. Okay, um... Well... Three poison... That's going to do more damage overall. Assuming he doesn't sweep it off, which he can. If it convinces them to sweep it off, then they won't sweep off. Yeah, anything else. Ouch. And now he resists stuff. But you can only do it once. Anyway, let's re-poison the guy at the front, because we need to get rid of the ones at the front if we're going to hit the one at the back. Worst case scenario, if it comes to the Enchantress, I'm fairly sure that her big strike can take care of him in a at least a few hits. She does like 110 damage, and he's barely resisting it, but he's probably taking more than that. Okay, let's see. Morale down and slowed, interesting. Nature damage and weak nature weakness, interesting. Physical damage and poison. Mm. Nature weakness. I think at this point I'd rather just increase my poison stacks. Because these ones aren't exactly good against physical damage. That was that was tempting though. It was very tempting. That buoyant lightning. Tempting to get a real strong hit at the guy at the back. I keep saying that word. Um, the trees wouldn't be good against fire. Let's just go for this route. Yeah. So the monk won't live. That's good. Uh... Since he'll die anyway at the start of the turn, I kind of don't want to hit him. So I guess I'll just... Um, hit everyone for a bit of something. You get demoralized, but who cares? Set them on fire. Always handy. Oh, and he actually resists air really well. Which is convenient. Uh, oh, and that's one less enemy. Great. We're actually not doing too badly. He doesn't resist ice. So cool. Oh, he might not even get to me. Looks like the risk and the reward might actually pay off. That's very handy. I, I honestly thought that this was going to go a lot worse than it has. There you go. 
What are you? Ancestral Elemental. All area attacks, air weakness, burning, frostbite. Wow, you can apply burning and frostbite to everything. He would be great with the Knoll. Oh man, that's a good one. Oh no, no, I need, I need this thing. Give me this thing. Um, no, no question, this thing. Whew. I want. I want badly. Gets more power and resistances per hero fixed by, ro by Frostbite. So basically, if I just have Team Elemental in the front row, that could be very fun. In which case, I'll put the Poisoners at the back, I guess. I'm liking the look of this. He has... He's not good against nature, but that's it. None of them are good against nature, actually. I've got no nature resistance in the front line. Not the nature resistance is something I ever had a whole bunch of. Uh... Oh, oh, I guess I didn't notice that that guy was demoralized. Oops. I feel bad. Okay, let's see what you do. You get more powerful and more resistant. Okay. You are costly to train, but I will train you like nothing else. Uh, I also want to make these guys better, I guess. Wasn't... Mm. I remember I always really liked this guy. Admittedly, I was mostly using him to demoralize, but his frostbite attack is good too. Honestly, I was always tempted to use aggressive strategies with him, just because it seemed like an okay idea. I'm not going to make comments about the fact that this is a very nature enthusiastic boss who keeps doing yoga. Uh. Okay. Two of your employees have been caught red-handed, brawling like two elves for a hairbrush. If you tell them to suspend them for five weeks or threaten them with a pay cut to be sure it won't happen again. Uh oh dear. If I sanction them, then that means they don't get more demoralized, but that also means I can't use them for the next battle. And I want to use these ones for the next battle. Oh, darn it. I don't want them demoralized. I don't. But that means they can't then fight this round. So these ones are going to have to come back. Um, tell you what, I will bring this team back. I'll put you in there because we don't have any nature resistance there. I'll bring my main team back in because I think... I think they're moralized enough. Um, besides, they'd only gain one point from that, so what's the point? I cannot have my two employees killing, well, one of them getting killed. Imagine if my new fantastic creature just got killed. It's like two of my best creatures. I can't take risks with that. Okay. Um, they hit for nature, if I recall. So we'll hit them with this. Also, you dodge a, tra a trap. And I'd rather you dodge this one than the one that actually poisons you. Right, well, with my grand plan completely abolished, oh dear, I wish I could just click and drag, that's what my brain says to do, but that's not actually what I'm supposed to do. I need ice at the front, just because I can't really have that happening. Uh, and I'll put my best succubi in the bottom. Poisonous toad. Good, good. Yeah, I learned my lesson about the sanctioning. Good grief. Ice and fire. Not a great combination, really. Uh, but it'll have to do. You resist fire, kind of. And you don't. Right. The A-Team is back. <laughs> Hopefully they do alright. I wonder which one is which of they are of the A-Team. I don't know which one of them is Mr. T. Anyways... Right? Oh. In hindsight, maybe I should have put the poison cloud here, because then they could have tethered together. Well... I'm really sick of this guy being at the front, because it just really shoots down the blinking succubi. 
I also don't like his ability at all. Um, I'll set everyone on fire, why not? Spread the burny, burny love. Except not love. Uh, oh, applies frostbite to all monsters if the target's life is below 50%. Okay, that's a thing. I'm always surprised that fire elemental can be killed by fire. Don't get me wrong, it just seems a bit strange. To me, anyway. Uh, oh right, this thing. Hmm. I think I will go for this, because nature weakness will help with this trap. He still hasn't used his skill, very annoyingly. That'll also mean that the spell will be more powerful, and they'll be going into the next fight with every simple resistance down. Holly. Right. I have softened them up. Now it's time for this team to take them out. After I soften them up a little bit. Now we take them out. So... I'm wondering if it passes it back, or just makes it equal to, if not already higher. It spreads two stacks, so it should just be... Yeah. Jeez, whichever one I hit goes down. Hit my guess. Crack-a-boom. That's, uh, that's some really bad music if it kills someone. Ooh, you look fun. Ice damage... Da, ba, ba, ba. Success damage consumes the stacks of frostbite. Does it do something good for consuming them, or just remove them? Hmm. Maybe they have to be frostbitten? I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing enough ice damage to make you worth it, Ice Elemental. I can see the point of you, because my boss does ice and nature, but I've been really leaning on the nature front. I don't quite know where I'd put you. We already have ice resistance, so you're not exactly... You're kind of hardy. I might just get some more money, although I could use spare monsters. I don't know. Okay, well, with that out of the way, let's go and get these guys resting. Hopefully the two stupids who are fighting each other will be back in action soon, because we could sure use them. Right, traps, upgrading traps, upgrading lots of traps. Nature weakness, six, yikes. Um, sure. That way the nature resistance never goes away. Well, I say never. That would have been nice, plunder. I don't normally do plunder, uh, and I'll tell you why, because like the first time What's the... Oh, find a monster. Huh. That would have been nice if we had the money. Uh, one volunteer for ten weeks. Chance of... We try this one. Oh, wait, wait. Your volunteers. Oh, they emerged unscathed. That's nice. Oof. Right. I don't like the plunder. Uh, I really don't like the plunder. Oh right, I finally get to see what he does. More damage, yeah, fine. Air damage and morale adds two stacks of all penalties applied to the target. Man, you are like, handy. Oh, wait a minute, you would be really good with this guy, because if you use your ability, then you just keep stacking the stacks of nasty stacks. Cool. Very cool. Be something good. Potentially good, but I can't do anything with it. What a shame. Ah, the thigh supplier. I feel like that one can sometimes bite you in the back. I feel like some of my guys have gotten sick from eating human thighs. 
but the money's good. Let's hit veterans. Risk and reward. Yeah, but, you know, I, I love my strategy games. I really enjoy a good old strategy game. Um, but, and there is always a but. But, wait, what's that? You can't be poisoned, is that what that means? Cannot be poisoned, that's annoying. Cannot be bled. I'm getting a theme here. <laughs> Okay, fire at the back, nature at the back, nature everywhere. Oh, great. So you are all shooting at the back, so I want you at the front, I guess. Uh, I want you here. Oh, darn it. Fire at the back. That does not suit me at all. Um, nature at the back. I have no one who resists that well. But she might... Mm, she might last a little longer? I don't know. Not a great lineup of heroes for us here. Shame that the poison won't work on the guy at the front. That's going to be a bit of a pain. He is weak to fire, though. So that's good. Uh, right, hold on. Nature everywhere, nature at the back, fire at the back. So you're going at the back. <laughs> it's kind of strange in some ways. We're inverting everything. <laughs> I kind of like it when all the attacks are going in one spot, because while it does mean that they take out one of my monsters very quickly, it does sometimes mean they don't take out all of my monsters at once. Ooh. Cackle. Um, that's really not very good right now. <laughs> At least increase that, the nature damage, but I need Mr. Elemental to be going first, really. Because I'll have to do that because he can't be poisoned. This could be going better. Here we this. Fire damage and burn. Ice damage and frostbite. Frostbite, I think. Right, because he um, gets shell, assuming he lives long enough to smack them, which he might not. Okay, now he's protected, kind of. Except, as I sort of suspected, it's not going to last long enough to be of any meaning. I would love for him to get a chance to do his cackle, but he's just not going to. He just doesn't have the survivability. None of my monsters have the survivability for these long-term plans. Because I can see how they get a whole lot of, uh, what's the word? Synergy off of each other, but... It doesn't matter if they don't live long enough. You know? Yeah, can't be poisoned. That's annoying. Now, whilst inside this... Uh, frostbite to everyone sounds pretty useful. Sure. They aren't the most physically resistive sorts either. I think we should be able to take care of these guys. Now then, who do I want to spread things from? The guy at the back, I think. I do like this trio. They seem to work fairly well. Lower prices, not sure. Demon attacks regenerate their life by 50% of damage dealt. I've got a fair few demons. So I'm actually going to take that this time. Uh, sadly, the Knoll needs a rest. That's not great. 
Uh, we'll bring you two back in, in case I want some serious poisoning on the front line. Trainer! Ooh, I should be able to train up... Uh... Oh wait, the Knoll's not here. I would have liked to have trained him a bit more. Still, I can train this guy to be better, because I know that I want him to be good. Uh... Yes... We'll take you a bit more. Oh, and sure, we'll upgrade you. There we go. And now I will need money for something. Our, uh, our, our Enchantress is, is super into yoga. <laughs> Very into yoga. Armchair Alchemist. Resistance for... Let's fire him. I think I want to keep that thing, if you don't mind. Potion of Evolution. I always like this one. An employee found a strange flask in a broom closet and drank it all in one gulp. Don't expect to see a growth in intelligence, as the employee seems to have gained muscle mass. Muscular mass. Cool. Hmm, I think I'm going to go for the ruins, because, I mean, I guess it's nature and ice. Those are the two things that we're doing. But uh, nature seems more her strategy, as it were. Okay, who do we have? Doesn't take as much damage from traps, that's okay. Fire and ice at the front, they love doing that, don't they? Resistance is up. That's a bit of a nuisance. Whoa, that guy's got serious fire resistance. Uh, just notice that. Youch. So, that's a lot of damage being thrown around. So, nature at the back. That doesn't suit us very well. Hmm. Fire and ice at the front. This guy's got decent fire and ice resistance. Honestly. Uh, but terrible nature. So, I'll put him at the front. I have my misgivings about that, but I will do it anyway. Go there, because he's got some resistance, and I guess I'll put this guy in there, because I quite like his uh, his ability. It does a lot of damage, and the skeletons always tend to go pretty fast. Uh, and with the poison? I guess. <laughs> we don't have that many options. And then the normal team. I guess I'll just shove you at the front. I need to level this one up. If only to, like, improve their health, because basically they're just my tank. Oh, wait, I need nature resistance in the back, don't I? Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, I'm going to unfortunately have you brunt the nature attacks. He's got enough health, he should be able to endure one or two. That's not what I want, really. Right then. Holly. I really like this guy's, uh, this guy's, um, what's the word, just his look. Oh, that guy's actually got some pretty good ice resistance. That's unfortunate. Now, I know this guy's got crazy fire resistance. Actually, they're all pretty decent against fire and ice. Uh, well, just get that and everything. Now, if he could get that up to three, that would be very good, because then it would last just that, that extra turn longer, you know? More frostbite? That's heavy. Did he use his ability? He did, to remove the nature. Uh, yes, yeah. Oops, this video is a little over. Just realized. I get so caught up in the game. I'll finish this uh, assault. As we'll have two different damage over time effects. Well, three, technically. Ow. He's barely been hurt yet, but uh, that will change the moment the nature attack comes around. I'm surprised how well he lasted against all that assault, if I'm honest. Personally surprised how well he lasted. Alrighty then, what do we do about you? I think I'll apply nature, yes. Because we do have some of that coming around. I 
back around here, in fact. I would love to get that trap. You know, like trip, the tripling trap. That would be even better than nature resistance. Can you imagine? Uh, sure. I think long run that'll work out. These guys can hit in the back, too. In fact... Two down. Ah, they're both demons, so they heal themselves. That's pretty handy. I need to try and bear in mind who is demons and who is not. So it's all got a mix of demons and elementalists, and elementals rather than elementalists. Difference between being an elemental and controlling an elemental. All oh, right, these abilities. I like the flamboyant thingy, but plus twenty percent to life transformed. I don't know. I feel like that's probably good, but I just don't like it much, unfortunately. All right. Uh, I don't think any of them need a break. However, I will bring these two back in. Uh, I guess we'll move you guys into the back line. And I guess I'll just keep a spare succubus sitting around. They are demons, though. They are demons, though. Okay, we'll take you out and put, put you in. There we go. We've got some spare monsters, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, who can we train? Training you is very tempting. Applies weakness when you are killed. Well, hopefully you won't be. Oh, right. Episode. Over time. Haha. <laughs> I always forget. <laughs> anyway. It, it's good to be back. I, I love playing this game. I really do. Um, it was... It, it hurt me. It hurt me deep inside when I... First played it a little bit and was like, oh my word, I love this game, I want to share this game. But then it was like, oh, what do I do? I can't keep playing it now. But I can, because I'm recording it. Yay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this has been Silverdale. Be sure to come back if you like what you see. And Motorsmile Plan D, because here there are dragons. <laughs>